<laughs> Dave. Hello. Cheers. <laughs> Vote Herrera. Vote Herrera, dude. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon, dude. Yeah, we're at Brandon's after party right now, or after party, the before party right now. We're trying to figure out if Brandon's going to be going into the primaries right now. We'll see what happens. But it's a good group of boys here. Good group of boys, good group of girls. Touch tips. Touch tips. Touch tips. Touch tips. Touch tips. <laughs> Ram Ranch! 18 naked Brandons! <laughs> Chicken. Hello, chicken. This camera is dying. It's getting slow as hell. Ever tell you guys this weird thing when I put this camera against my phone, it opens up and turns on? Yeah. But uh, the little thing, you can't see it. This guy, as it's coming out, it like cracks and barely opens up now. So we're going to need a new vlog camera soon. Heather. What? What are you doing Sunday? Uh, uh First recording of my podcast. Yeah. Hell yeah. Check it out. What's it called? Disorderly Conduct. Disorder Check out the Disorderly Conduct podcast. The first episode is going to be with the unsubscribe podcast. So it's going to be me, Eli, and Brandon. Minus Ni Nick. Yeah, minus Nick. Nick's not going to be in town for yeah. this, but we're going to be on Heather's first episode of Disorderly Conduct. Hell yeah. It's going to be good. In the meantime, chicken. You guys have about 8 million names for your pets too. This is a uh, fat <laughs> cheese, of course, chicken, chicken, <laughs> queso, mogwai, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> stupid <laughs> little chicken. Hey boys, I'll tell you what I want to do today. I kind of want to go out, have some drinks, have some fun with some friends, get some ramen. But I did that all weekend. And now I should do deadlifts. <laughs> The proper thing to do. What are we doing? What are we watching today? <laughs> all right, Matt, we all know you got nice setups. God. Did you know? Oh, I gotta watch this. Code Blue Can's newest video. What happens when you shove drugs in a cop's face from this pink hair? <laughs> all right, this is kind of funny. I wanna show you this. Yes, I'm stalling my workout right now. I'm being a lazy piece of crap. But this dude said, <laughs> Any comments on your bestie Heather Lynn O promoting satanic rituals and pornography? You don't seem that right wing, to be honest. It's like Heather just did a little joke photo where she took uh, the Slaughter to Prevail mask out and put it up there with some mezcal and some bones and a Time magazine, cigarettes, a little wand guy there. I don't see any pornography, but that's uh, definitely not satanic rituals. Those are Nordic runes, I'm pretty sure. But I hit Alex the Terrible up. I was like, hey, dude, I guess we're worshiping Satan now and sent him the screenshot. He's like, who the f is this guy? <laughs> and I, I know I shouldn't play into these these accounts very much on Twitter because all they're doing is trying to farm, you know, views. And I also know they're probably only making like $100 a month. So I'll help them farm views as long as it means I can, you know, defend the love of my life. It's just funny. Alex the Terrible is like, who the f is this guy it's like that's one dude you really don't want to mess with it's one dude you really don't want to fuck with i don't know if you've seen him i don't know fight bears um bare knuckle box be one of the biggest metal singers in the entire you know whatever whatever <laughs> all right i'm still stalling the workout guys if you have never seen any of joel haver's content sand planet's a good one like he makes some really good animation i invite him out to range day but he says he's not that big of a shooter Hopefully one day we can get him out here. But yeah, watch some Joel Haver. Sam Planet's awesome. All of his content's awesome. <laughs> Look, it's all Meat Canyon, Joel Haver, Heather stuff. <laughs> Hi guys, Donut here. I came out to the garage because John is currently in the living room watching Monk, his new favorite show, which is hilarious. But I just wanted to tell you guys, give you an update on what's going on in my life. Today is the 12th, and in was it a couple days on a Sunday, we're gonna be doing the Unscribed Live shows. And I personally have a lot of anxiety about that because I haven't done crowd stuff in a while. Got a good workout in yesterday, did a way more deadlifts than I should have. I haven't deadlifted in like a month because, you know, my cat Squirt, he was staying here in the garage while the woman who he currently lives with was gone doing a vacation. 
and uh, I almost dropped like 405 pounds on the little guy, so I stopped doing deadlifts for a while there, and I'm sore, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get a workout in today. I am gonna go hang out with, uh, with Eli, Brandon, uh, Jake Watson from Cordor Digital, my attorney. <laughs> I'm telling you this because hopefully I can get some vlog footage in tonight. I'm trying to start vlogging more, as I've said a million times, and I think I'm gonna do it. You guys wanna see some animals? Did I wake you up? Did I wake you up like you wake me up scratching on the door every morning? Oh no, Miss Animal 2. Jeeves, the blackest man I know. Hello, baby. Animal 3, John. Chicken. I'm already scared of the floor because she keeps falling on it. And so she won't come out of the closet. It's okay to come out of the closet, Ari. Right? It's 2024. There we go. Oh, man. So, uh, so that. About to be hot in Texas. Oh, I tried to work out this morning and then got really dizzy because I was a little dehydrated from going out with uh, with Eli and King Trout and uh, Jake Watson. So I'm back out here. This is better now. Anyways, the temperature is a little bit better. It's a shoulder and back day today. So I'm gonna knock this out real quick and then probably play some Hell Divers too. I've only played a couple games of it. It's fun. Hell yeah, hell divers. Playing with uh, playing with myself. Playing with one of Brandon's friends and Brandon and John right now. This game's pretty cool. It's a little repetitive, but it's neat. There's a long one. Dentist. Shot some interviews for Brandon's campaign. Unsubscribe podcast with uh, uh, Vincent Vargas, you know, of the Mayans show. The Sons of Anarchy spinoff. Uh, dinner meeting. Hung out a little bit. Got home late, but you know what? There's always time to get boobies. <laughs> 102. I'm gonna get that workout in. I didn't sleep all night um, since that 2 a.m. workout. It turns out that you shouldn't work out before bed. This is because if you do an intense workout, it raises your cortisol levels really high. If your cortisol levels are really high, you get these things called hypnic jerks, which means every time you try to go to sleep, your body jerks you awake. So as tired as I am, I wasn't able to go to sleep. So I gave you bad advice last night. Don't work out at 2 a.m. unless you got a couple of hours before bed. Good day, boys and girls. I found a Tyrus. Ah, Oliver Anthony, shut up. Oliver Anthony might be coming to range today. Uh, I found one of the best Thai restaurants, supposedly in San Antonio. So Heather and I went on a day date. We're going to check that out. I finally got two hours of off and on sleep. So, you know, whatever. I'll grab a, another energy drink. Satay, peanut sauce, tin tin, edamame. Can't f*** that up, really. Tin tin. Heather, tin tin. I mean, you're a tin tin. You're a 10 out of 10. That's what, what I'm saying. You're a 10 10. Oh. Your face is a 10 10. It's generous. It was the best red curry I've ever had in my entire life. Was that green curry? It's pretty banging. Pretty baller. Very hot. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Three hours of sleep, but we're not skipping leg day. Let's go. Go. Rich, what are we doing, dude? Well, Cody and Leather, you asked. You see, when you go with a professional strongman as a friend, you understand that there are certain limitations in your life. One of those limitations is whether or not your knees are going to blow out. Because what we're about to attempt right now is a 260 pound sandbag lift. Yeah. And now, I, being the ignorant that I am, I'm going to try and throw it over my shoulder, whereas some people might just try to pick it up. Mm -hmm. But because I am filled with hubris, I'm probably going to ruin a portion of my body for the rest of my life and attempt to try and show off to my friends. <laughs> so we're ego lifting today. Yeah, it's ego lifting. The it's exactly ego it. lift. Yeah. Yeah. Ego <laughs> lift. Ego <laughs> lift. The gang hurts themselves permanently. Stop. I can't 
can't get it over my shoulder. Nice. So, nice. Luffy, if you would have kept going, you would have kept it in that window. Uh, I need a minute. Go on your knees, sit your weight back your arms around. There you go. There you go. Now you can sit down into it. Get low. Get low. Get low. Fight down lower. So you can get. Yeah, there you go. You're one hand in it. Oh, you're so strong. Oh. Now squat, get underneath it, underneath it. Un throw it under, throw it under. There you go, baby. That was close, that was What's that one, Caleb? 420? Yes, it's like. Ready? Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Dang it! That's the wrong. That was the wrong. No, this is the dopest barbecue area I've ever seen in my life, though. Yeah, Connor, like you were saying, the lighting is. That's phenomenal. Well, Goldberg uh, was the one that turned me on to the, the hex. Yeah, it's the one that's in his garage. Yeah. And I was so, like, that day that we were filming with you over there, how cool it looked in everybody's glasses and, like, just the reflection off the floor. I went home and looked into it and was like, that would be awesome for... Because, again, this is all going to be built for filming. You'll have the big, you know, mega rec tech over here. Then we'll have our flat iron on that corner there so we can do big breakfast stuff. And then that's an ice maker. There's a fridge and a freezer right here. So like now in the summer when we're all hanging out back there, come over, drop all your meat and, and stuff off here. And this is where we'll do food. And we're not dragging it over to the pool all that's the time. That's dope. She's purring. She's purring. Oh, they gotta get this thing fixed. I want this cat. A little hamburger. I want it. I want it. Look how pretty it is. Yeah. It's purring. I love you so much, you little shit. Well, we went out. <laughs> oh, God, I can't even talk. Well, we went out last night. Um, yeah, I'm going to go meet up with the boys are actually here. I'm going to go meet up with Brandon, Nick, Zach, and Eli. Like, all the boys. All the boys are here. It's so exciting. The live shows tonight. You guys are going to get to see that. I'm going to vlog that. Uh, I'm nervous, man. I haven't done crowds in a while. So we'll see what happens. I got book one, two, and four now. That makes it the entire boys series. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, most Brandon, what are we doing? I think we're about to go do a live show. Oh, my here God. Here in San Antonio at the Laugh Out Loud uh, comedy, comedy, club. comedy club. There you go. Do your politician, please. <laughs> that, no, that is not my politician. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi, Hi, oh, I hate Mexicans and veterans. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> God. <laughs> Luckily, this will come out after May 28th. All right, we're not nervous. doing the. Are we doing the chair thing? Are we do, uh, we're, no, we're not doing the chair thing. Oh, oh god. Okay. You okay, bud? Yeah. No, I'm okay. Nick, you okay? No, I'm good. Okay. Don't get bud. I thought there would be. Yeah. Front row gets spit on by me. Oh yeah. I about communism. <laughs> the front row is so close. When I get angry. You guys are getting spit on. <laughs> Eli, what do we call this room? No. Is it, is green. it a green room? Yeah. Green. All right. Baby blue room. We got the green room. The blue room. All right, so so we were in the green room with Danny before, and that was a huge green room because yes. he was, rock star. he's a rock star. Yeah. And, and then this is the first the time. The, yes. Oh yeah, the Who was there too? <laughs> we got to meet those guys. They didn't speak much English, but we were like, pow pow pow. We want to take you to pow pow pow. Like, what a machine gun, machine gun. And they were like, like hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this is the first green room that we've had. That's just me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Sorry. No, we still got like two hours, so we can't get tanked. Yeah. What? My favorite my favorite thing, you missed this today. Cody's like, hey, can I have access to Unsub Twitter? Everyone at the table is like, 
Ooh. <laughs> I was like, this might be the first time Unsub has ever called a vote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you have to say now, right here. The vote for the fire. <laughs> that one's actually true. Oh, you can get sound checks. Wow! That is oh, bright. That is very bright. I like it. Alright, there we go. Then. Zach, stop supporting us. It's my bad. I was just trying to. Just excited. Zach, stop. They turn them all fuck me. Trying to support you guys. Get off the stage! <laughs> You don't deserve to be here. <laughs> no one, no one does no support one's... veterans the way you do. <laughs> yeah, but no, like they, they do this. Like you ready for it? Yes, sir. Like, yes. I can't. My, my country is. I'm nervous. Let me tell you, you say liberty. <laughs> All right, Zach. What have you thought about a lot? That record should be green light. Green for go, red for stop. But it's reverse. I've always thought about that. Reversed. Zach, we got a lot of people standing out here. A lot. Of... A lot of VA ratings. A lot of VA ratings. A lot of handicaps. A lot of bunker branding emails out there. <laughs> I'd like it on the record that I, I'm a fan of these. They, they all look like beautiful people. No, oh, no, they're wonderful. Uh, great, and they should definitely subscribe to King Trout. <laughs> oh, there it is. Boom. There it is. Showbiz. <laughs> Listen, Cody, this is very simple, all right? We're in front of a large studio audience. All you have to do is speak clearly because every word that you say is going to be amplified over a microphone that's heard by hundreds of people exceptionally loud. So if you stutter or get nervous, everybody's going to see it. So you should probably have a couple of drinks so you're not sober because you're boring and nobody likes to hear your sober stories. But don't get too drunk because they're going to notice immediately. And anyway, if you feel nervous, just remember, everybody's watching. No! <laughs> Jonah's really nervous right now. You guys don't know. This guy's freaking out. I've never seen him freak out this much. He talks to millions of people every day, but not directly in real life. He's got it. He's got it. But he's freaking out yeah, he's right gonna now. He's going to realize once he's up there, he's like, this is easy, dude. I, I think got once this. he starts talking and once the people start laughing, then he'll feel comfortable. We got really good light on us right now. Look at him. Look at him rubbing his hands together. He's literally going to fire. Bro's freaking out over there, guys. He's really nervous about this one. Get over here, bro. I'm making Congressman Herrera a beverage. All right, let's look at our uh, board here after we had angry cops and found an electrician and King Trout never went over. Uh, this one is an old school one. I don't want to erase that. It's me and Header. Uh, let's see. Angry Cops put this. Shut up. No one cares. Nice little drill sergeant man right there. Uh, King Trout drew this for me last night and also put a video idea up here. Video where Cody says the N word, but really loud. You know what? I'm going to have to work on that video. You know? Uh, good suggestion, King Trout. We'll, uh, we'll, well, I'll get right on that today, actually. Got a new book in yesterday I'm looking forward to reading. Uh, it's a C.S. Lewis book. I didn't hear about this until someone I look up to highly online. I can't remember who it was. was talking about reading this. The Screw Tape Letters. It's, uh, I think it's like the devil writing letters to another devil or something like that. But yeah, this is uh, C.S. Lewis. This dude that wrote all the, um, the Narnia stuff. The funny part about this too is that C.S. Lewis wrote this for J.R.R. Tolkien of, you know, Lord of the Rings J.R.R. Tolkien. It's, a, it's kind of wild. I'm looking forward to reading that one. I haven't read a whole book in a while. Also on the menu, some other books I've been kind of dabbling in. I hear you. I suggest every single person who's looking at this reads this book. So yeah, the surprisingly simple skill behind extraordinary relationships. It's just about listening to people, and it's really good. And then I'm about to get into this one, How I Rob Banks and Other Such Places. It's a, a professional penetration tester talking about how he does, you know, uh, social manipulation and all sorts of cool stuff to rob banks. Bought this. I'm gonna start the cookbook up again since those pieces of shit stole my last one. So hopefully that can be, uh, you know, we can put that out next year. I had someone asking me last time about like my backpack EDC, the shit that I carry around. So this is the Go Rock Heritage uh, wax canvas or leather, whatever it is. The 15 liter, again, I'm not sponsored by them, I just love them. It's got like a nice little top pocket up here. I just keep 
knickknacks and other hoarding shit up here, I guess. Some like eye stuff, eye drops, because the shit's so bad right here. Um, Eli's son made this for me. It's a donut. Just knickknacks and shit. Magic the Gathering cards. <laughs> My favorite card ever, Lake of the Dead. Batty actually bought that one for me. Yeah. Some challenge coins that people have given me. That's just kind of where I shove my shit pocket. Front pocket, just like chargers and bullshit, wires, cables. Got an Apple Air tag in there, so in case my shit gets stolen. Cool pocket right here. Deodorant, of course, 5 stickers, all sorts of shit. Laptop, of course. I don't know if I've showed you guys this one. This is one of my new ones. I had a Surface Pro, and I forgot, I forgot what this one is. But it's a... Uh, what are you? I can't remember what it is, but it's got a an NVIDIA like 4030 or something like that in it. So it can play pretty much any game at a high frame rate. It's also got the detachable keyboard. Yeah, oh, the uh, Rogue Flow. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, detachable keyboard so it turns into a tablet. I love this thing. Thank you for joining my backpack tour. <laughs> I don't know why you guys watch this. I appreciate you do, man. Sometimes I talk about the most boring mundane shit. You guys are like, hey, this is cool. So. I appreciate the hell out of y'all, but let's go let's, let's go get some sushi. I gotta stop saying butt so much. I've been doing that too much lately. Also thinking words when filming. That's a bad one. I've been starting to get back into that habit. Huh, oh, jeez. What up, my old black boy? Damn, girl. What? <laughs> what are you doing today? Uh, nothing. nothing. Just being super hot shit. Check out my boots. New boot goofing. Nice. Hell yeah. Got a podcast today, huh? Yeah. What's your podcast called? Uh, disorderly conduct. All right, you haven't released it yet. As of today, no. it's the 19th. Yeah. You're gonna build up like three or four in the chamber yeah, before you release it? Yeah, today is gonna be two truths and a lie with Jack and Caleb. <laughs> Jack Mandeville and okay. Caleb Francis. That would be, be a fun one. Ranger Sliced Yellowtail. It's one of my favorite things here. And Unico. You're my favorite thing here too. We're doing Asian steak tacos tonight. Basically, I got this from Gordon Ramsay. It's just, you cook some steak, you slice it up, you put it in some miso, you make some Japanese, or sorry, Asian uh, slaw, which is pretty much wasabi and rice wine vinegar. Chop that up, put it over that on a tortilla shell. I found these sriracha ranch shells. They're probably gonna be like ass, but either way, yeah, you just make tacos out of that. It's pretty good. It's pretty neat. I'll show you guys. Yeah, when I do, you know, when I do wasabi coleslaw, sesame seeds, wasabi sauce, rice vinegar, and some Napa cabbage chopped up finely. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now I'm gonna put these steaks on. They were sitting in the oven for a while. They're up to about 100 degrees. I'm gonna do those guys, slice them up into thin little pieces and then put them into some was, or sorry, not wasabi, miso. It's miso easy. Put some miso with them while they're sliced up. You put them on a taco shell. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Got some perfect medium rare steaks right here, dude. All right, this is concentrated miso. So I like to take this, mix it with a little bit of water, put it in there, slice this up, Put it in there so it gets a little miso taste on it. When you put it on tacos and you put that on there, it's a, it's pretty damn good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Came out good, huh guys? Came out pretty good. Fine. Nom, nom, nom. Easy. Easy. Go girl. Boop. It's like a post marinade. I don't know, I got it off a Gordon Ramsay video one time. I've been modifying it for years now. It's actually really freaking good. When you mix this on tacos with the, the wasabi slaw. It's pretty goddamn good, boys. It's pretty goddamn good. The oven's actually still warm and Heather's in the shower. She just got home. So we're gonna pop those in there just to keep them warm. Not to cook them. We're not cooking those beautiful bastards. We're just gonna keep them warm right now. Yeah, I still need to build this guy. Still need to build my ornithopter, the dune ornithopter. I also need to figure out what to do with the giant, beautiful Zydax computer they sent me. I don't know, I don't know what to do, guys. 
probably listen to Slaughter's Ravel and throw some heavy things around, huh? That's what I'm thinking. Oh,